show you how to make a bolt shape with a screw thread on it. So as before, click on sketch, click on top, right click, view normal to, use the polygon tool to create a, a hexagonal head for your bolt. So I'm gonna click draw it. That's six, that's a, that is a hexagon, so that's what we want. So click again, then you can use the dimension tool to actually determine the size. So I would say 12 mil. Go and measure an actual bolt to get the right dimensions. Accept that and extrude. And I'm gonna say extrude to about six mil again. Remember you can create any sort of head you want. There's lots of different types of heads on bolts. This is the simplest. Uh, sketch, <clears throat> top of the surface here. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna create an M6 bolt, very standard bolt, very common. And so click on that and it's gonna be a six mil diameter. Then I will accept that sketch and extrude it. So I'm gonna extrude it to 40 millimeters again, sort of standard length of a, a bolt. And uh, now I accept that. <clears throat> and under here on this tool called plane, if you click on the drop down menu, you get options. Click on helix and click on the surface and you'll see you get a sketch up here which wraps around a helix around the surface of the cylinder. Over here, I'm gonna choose pitch. I know the pitch of a M6 thread is one millimeter. Uh, if you don't know what pitch is, pitch or screw thread or pitch, just Google it and uh, it will show you images of what it is. It's essentially the distance between the crest or the peak of each thread, all right? So an M6 bolt has a one millimeter uh, pitch. Uh, that's what I want, so I'm going to accept that. Now what I have to do is draw a triangle. We can go from the top to the bottom. What I'll do actually before I start that, I'll just chamfer the top. If you look at the top of a bolt, it usually has a slight chamfer on it, where the edge has been ground down. So look something like that. So down here, we shall draw a triangle. So what essentially I'm doing is I'm going to use the sweep tool to sweep a triangular shape around this helix all the way up the length of it, which cuts away and removes the material into the cylinder to make it look like a screw thread. <clears throat> so sketch, I'm going to sketch onto that plane and I'm going to draw down here, just outside, I'm going to draw a small triangle. I'm going to escape, just by pressing escape, come out of that drawing tool, left click and drag around it to select it all, and under this drop down menu, you've got equal. So I'm going to make them all equal. I'm also then going to dimension this one to be about 0 0.99. The pitch is one millimeter, but if I make this one, mil one millimeter, it doesn't quite work. Okay? This has to be slightly smaller than the actual pitch to work, to make the visual representation. Last thing to do, I'm gonna select this edge. I'm sorry, come out of the dimension tool. Now we just click escape to get, out of, to get out of any of these tools. So I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna select that. So I have both this line selected and the helix. And again, under here, you have something called pierce, and you'll see what it does. It essentially just moves it, so that edge is sitting, or sorry, this line of the triangle is sitting right on the edge of the helix. So you're now connected. And accept that sketch. You've now got the profile here, and you've got the helix sketch. So now I click on sweep, and we want to select the sketch first of all. So you can see it's selected here. Then you want to select the sweep path, so click in this box and select the helix. And click on remove. And yeah, it shows the preview. It's 
are quite correct in ways. The bottom of a the bottom of a thread has a flat bottom. Actually, if you look at the drawings, we could have done that, but it gives the representation if you want to add bolts to your design. And that is pretty much it. I think you have to check merge of all, and that's it. So see you then.